interesting. Hold on. I must fix this. Do I have to import end? Do I have to import end? F5. This is a save test. Oh yes, this is it. So okay, so that was the issue. You must import end. Usually, I just have to import asterisk. That's why. That's why I totally uh, that totally passed me. Um. So let's add a few more functions to this. So we've got here the save and the open. That seems to work all fine now. Def. Let's add up here an exit. And exiting, oh, not some colon, colon. Um, an exit is, uh, let's actually add over here an if statement. Um, for that, we're actually going to import over here a uh, message box. So let's over here if message box or show info. Let's say wait. Are you sure you want to quit? So, and colon. It defaults it to true. The default is true. Uh, Root dot destroy. And that just that destroys the window, therefore killing the program off. Oh, I forgot. We need to find exit command. Exit. Quit. These are purple, so I cannot keep. Okay. Exit, exit root. Let's call it exit root. Final exit. Are you sure you want to quit? Okay. It should probably actually be a yes or no, actually. Uh, instead of just. So the way to get a yes or no, you have to instead of just instead of saying show info, we say ask yes no. It's that simple. So if we were to load it now, you say file exit, and press yes, it quits, and if we were to say no, see what happens when we say no. Ignore it, it says the default as true as being yes. Um, let's also add it is an about as well, so let's do that here. Def about. And the about, let's do label equals um, message box message box stop showing but here we just want to show some information so about a python alternative to notepad uh, yeah Python alternative to Notepad. So if you say there about, we say command equals about. About Python alternative to Notepad. Okay, so those are the main functionalities working with Python. Now, other functionalities we may want to add. So if we to do the to do, to do. We're going to put a bunch of lists. So we want to say add font dialog. Uh, add print function. Add and help. A help. What else? What else does Notepad have that we can incorporate? So, new. And new function, which will really just be clearing this off. That's what the program will really do, I guess. Or get rid of the text area and create a new one. Uh, time day. Oh, that's interesting. You press time day, you actually create it. <laughs> status bar. Oh, of course, status bar. I want to keep that. About notepad. That's the message that appears when you press about notepad. Can you help? 
Do you need actual help to view a notepad? You might do, I don't know. Page setup. That opens up this. There's not exactly much on notepad. There is find and stuff. We might want to try and do that. Add find. That, that'll be, I guess, the hardest part. And the most more complex part. I find our own place function, function, functionality. Um, so yeah, I'll save that as a to-do list. .txt. And I guess we'll do that already. Oh, you know what? What I could do... Whew, there's something I could just add right now, which would be quite nice. Um, okay. There are a couple of things we could do to improve this over here. Um, to go over here, uh, file types is what we could use to improve. Could say over here file types, and the one you have. Example we're going to want is text file, comma. If we do that and F5 this, oh, open. Oh, we run out. I think it's because you need another bracket around this. Oh, let's try that. Oh, open. No, still not working. Why is it? Hmm. I have to do that. That's probably why. No? Third option. File types. Let me go with these extra brackets. Where's the extra brackets on the other ones cause the issue? File open. No. Bad op. Oh, is it the mode? Oh, it might, might be the actual mode actually. Cannot work with ask open file name. What about the mode nature? Bad file type should be type name extension. Where's type name is? Did I not do this correctly? Maybe I need to add another one as well. All files. Not that comma here. And oh, didn't mean to get on the top. I'll open. Okay, that works. Okay, yeah. I just need to add the all files. Does that does that mean? I'll just copy this for a moment. And do. Can I keep the node? Let me just copy in file types. Open. No, the mode cannot. Okay. Can I have mode in there? But that should work, hopefully. It needs to work, I hope. Let's close that. Go to file. Open. Test. No? It's annoying me. Oh, because this is the... Okay, so we have to make a few changes then. Because this is the ask open file name, well, instead of the just file, because which is just, just a file, if we were to just a file here, that wouldn't work. Oh, it would, okay. That's, that's fine then. Okay, no no need to have the ask open file. But actually, oh, they're not too big. Uh, currently, we we open up the file, and we can see for and we can. Yeah, so we can have text file, and we can have all files. However, one thing I was thinking of is for the name, the GUI title, to change 
Now if we have a file open, because over here in Notepad you have unentitled hyphen Notepad. If we're to open, for example, over here, if the text to test, it will change. The name changes. I like to do the same thing, but with Ask Open File, it you can't really get the file name. But if we do, but if we do file name, we can get the file name. So in the next video, we're going to be modifying slightly the open file and the save file so we can actually get the file name and stuff like that. However, this is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys very soon. Goodbye.